Hey guys, what I do is your boy Supreme Chia to God. Sorry for the lateness, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had a long, long day. I was actually doing bits for once. I wasn't being lazy. I was actually doing bits. Uh, I had a song that I was working on, which sounds bangers, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm too lazy to change my sound setting to play your snippet. But it's fire. I promise. I promise. Uh, and also, then I was also doing some community work. Uh, like, we're planning to do some community work because, um, you know, the whole Black Lives Matter movement is worldwide. So it gave us motivation, I suppose, to kind of do what we've done several times throughout the year, but at a bigger scale and uh continuously rather than pop up and do this pop up and do that just continue doing something for the community uh one of the things we want to do is raise awareness on racism and even like black to black racism you know what i'm saying that shit happens like you'll be you'd be surprised like how people being half cast getting alienated for being half cast etc etc i don't know like half black half white half cast whatever whatever you want to call it um so like those type of things as well as like uh black kids uh especially like my gen kids black kids were cool for the most part at least in the south of ireland in the north or like north urn side like especially like dublin areas and stuff we know that those kids been wilding for a long time um, but it's, it's creeping into the South now. So we're trying to figure out a way to prevent these kids from doing dumb shit. Cause somebody just got stabbed like a, about a week ago, a few days ago. And we just don't condone that shit out here. You know what I'm saying? So we're trying to figure out how to prevent our youth from going that route. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, I'm saying this cause I feel like it's kind of relevant to Lucasum and how the culture within like some areas are just different you know what i'm saying some people are in situations that lead them to violence and sometimes it's not always so easy to see how could that ever be justifiable and it's not it's not justifiable but people go through things that lead them certain to certain paths and then again some people are just psychopaths or sociopaths or just crazy you know what i'm saying so i think that's a part of a, 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 a factor that we we can't forget some people can't be changed some people can't be saved but god damn it we're gonna try to save everybody you know what i'm saying so uh, i just wanted to let y'all know that's something that you know we're trying to organize most of the people involved in this have done so much for youth communities and so much for just kids in general and people and just you know what i'm saying like the minorities uh and even like here the most probably marginalized people in ireland are white people and they're they're called travelers you know what i'm saying so it's like that's the thing like it, it varies depending on where you are so we want to just raise awareness on all this situation and hopefully make a change you know what i'm saying uh look anyway let's go to the review now this chapter was a very interesting chapter because we learned quite a lot of information about uh samuel so i didn't know his name up until now i don't know uh, maybe i missed it i don't know if i was blind but now i know his name anyway samuel so is the is the the, the head the current head of mcn1 you know what i'm saying or one mcn you know what i'm saying he's in charge of that bitch and now we know that last chapter uh our boy daniel used his his key card to to uh, unlock the door into his like secret office it's i mean it, uh, i don't want to be negative but like genuinely is the dumb it's it's like your twirling mustache villain shit like where you you put your most important information in the most fucking obvious place possible and anyone with that goddamn card can go in it's ugh. but anyway um he goes in and discovers that uh, Sam also has been keeping an eye now, not just him, but also like uh, Vasco, uh, Johan, like all of them. You know what I'm saying? No, sorry. Actually, him, uh, not Vasco and them, but uh, all the other heads like Jake and, and Johan and Ollie and all those guys. You know what I'm saying? And now he doesn't understand why and he didn't have time to like go through it properly. So he just snapped photos, uh, but it looked like he was looking at him for, for a long time, bro. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, you know, it's one of those situations where he he has to, you know, sit down and go through it. Then we've, uh, you know, one one of the guys, the streamers, sees him and he, he saves him essentially from being caught by Samuel who just walked in and was like, what the fuck did this kid go? You know what I'm saying? So he hit him. He was like, yo, stay chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, stay quiet, bro. They're going to fuck you up if they see you out here. Blah, 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 gang, gang. Now, uh, our boy Daniel growing a big brain. He was like, I got a plan B. So remember, he carried his other body with him. You know what I'm saying? Just in case anything happened to that body, he can pull up with the other body and save that body. You know what I'm saying? So he, he wasn't worried about signing contracts or doing no, 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 no dumb shit because he knew he had a, a way out. What's interesting is the other two girls uh, who who are from uh, Hostel, you know what I'm saying? They're from the, uh, our boy Warren Che and, 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 and um, what's his name? 
uh, got them. And Eli's fam, you know what I'm saying? He, she, they from there, and they, 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 they was like, you know, I'm not doing it in order. I'm kind of just doing it how it feels, like, you know what I'm saying? So they, they were also there chilling and trying to get the contract signed. And the, the fox lady, the fox cat lady, she pulled up all like she, she was trying to like pretending to be helpful to, to the new streamers, right? Like, oh, don't trust them, blah blah blah, and you know, so that they can trust her. And then so that she can backstab them. So she was like, oh, remove this, remove that, tweak this, tweak this, and you're good to go. They signed the contract. Turns out they, sli they signed a slave deal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, they're underage. So, like, I mean, the contract should be void. But I don't know how contracts work in Korea. So I don't know how that system there works. And she actually mentioned it. She was like, well, they're underage and they have no family anyway. So it doesn't matter if they sign a contract. You know what I'm saying? So I suppose they could just use that to say they lied about their age, etc., 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 to try to get away with shit. Um, so it turns out obviously she was fooling them and you know, she found out about the one MCN, but she, instead of like being mad or whatever, she actually wanted to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? So she's obviously like a twisted girl and she wants to date Samuel Seo or some shit cause she got her tongue out and she, she looking all flirty to the boy, you know what I'm saying? But the boy is handsome, but he does look old as a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so then obviously, uh, the, the streamers are first like excited and shit. And they're like, wait, where's my phone? You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, Daniel, they told him, oh, give your phone away. Just for blah blah blah, maybe security or some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, keep you concentrated or whatever. So he he gave his phone away willingly, but the other two girls they got drugged or something because they just fell asleep, and then they woke up and the phones were missing, and the stream was streaming live. And then also there's like two guys which we saw a few chapters ago, two guys underneath the table, uh, forcing them to do the work. Now I had initially, uh, in my video that I talked about, it, I initially thought that perhaps that that's what was happening to them before. You know, and that's how they, they got the chance to go to 1MCN. Uh, but no, it turns out it's what's happening to them in 1MCN. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. Uh, and, and it's definitely looking, you know, like a, it's going to be a wild ride. Um, now, then with Daniel, uh, he, 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 he was trying to resist, trying to scream for help, all type of shit. And I think he probably did it on purpose because if he gets knocked out, he can switch his body. And he got knocked out and he switched his body. And, you know, those the, the guys hired to like be the muscle uh, uh trying to uh, like you know they're, they're they're taking his big ass case uh with his other body unit and they're, they're like man why the be so heavy and they're like should we open it and like yeah let's open it and that's where the chapter essentially ends now we also see that warren Che is worried about his you know like the runaways you know what i'm saying like where, where are these girls like you know what i'm saying because they they got this new studio but they're supposed to just work there and after working they come back to to uh to hostel and sleep there and repeat you know what i'm saying so um so Warren is, is troubled and then, you know, obviously they're still talking about uncles and daddies, which is weird as fuck, but whatever. Um, and so that's essentially what happened in the chapter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what does this mean? I suppose, like, I feel like the auto is using it, like, as a, a way to, like, not stall the information, but to keep us on the edge of our seat to know exactly what Samuel and uh, what, what, what they're doing, you know what I'm saying? And because Daniel is determined to stop the, the four uh, heads, you know what I'm saying, or the four crews or the four major crews so you know what i'm saying and this is he's going on a journey of doing this and he's also questioning like how long has he been watching me has he been watching me because i questioned him last time was he been watching me before that like what's happening he's also watching everybody else so like why is he doing this though you know what i'm saying i'm very interested to discover exactly why samuel is doing this i'm assuming he probably works with um with mr Cho. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm assuming, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's interesting. Is he one of the four heads? He shouldn't be, right? So is he, what is he? Is he like a level above heads? Is he, you know what I'm saying? Because he's as young as Daniel, supposedly. So it's like, what happened? Like, how is he up here so quickly? You know what I'm saying? So I'm very intrigued by uh, what's, what's, what's occurring right now. And I suppose I'm a little bit excited about what's going to happen next. Now, um, I miss having Daniel in the forefront a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So it's good that we have Fat Daniel back. But, I mean, he's gone already. We're going to go back to Skinny Daniel, which is fine. But it's good to have Daniel back uh, because I feel like he hasn't been his story for like 100 chapters. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to kind of have him in the forefront and for us to get more information about the bodies and, and all that fiasco, which we've been wondering for like, what, six, seven years, depending on when you started reading this. I think I started in 2013, 2012 when I started reading Lucasum. So like... It's a long ass time, you know what I'm saying? But we're still excited and we still hope for the best. And uh, what do you guys think of the chapter? Is there any negatives, positives? What do you take away from it? Now, we obviously hate Fox Lady. Fuck Fox Lady because <laughs> she, she straight up tricked everybody. But I mean, it was kind of obvious that that was going to happen just because like, 
the story has to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like it has to be exciting. So, um, but definitely comment down below, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 400 and we are only 68 so no, not even yeah, 68 subs away. We're only 68 subs away, guys. And we got a whole 27 days left to do this shit or some shit like that. Not 27, I'm tripping. 23, 24 days to, to, to reach that. You know what I'm saying? So I really think we can do that if we if we can manage like it, it, within the first seven days, we've gotten 32 subs. If we if we can keep up that pace, we definitely gonna reach that 400 in no time. I love you. I love you. It's been your boy Supreme Chia, the God, and I'm out.